YouTube channel. I'm Tanner Bell and in today's DIY video we are going to have so much fun because we're going to hopefully teach you guys how to create your own monograms. We've been having some technical issues so I hope that the connection is a lot better. It looks a whole lot better over on my end now because I'm looking at it on my computer but I'm super excited to have you here today because we're going to teach you a lot. We're not only giving you sneak peeks to our newest collection of digital cut files for Makers Gonna Learn in case that you know, maybe you're thinking about joining. It's an awesome membership. And guys, if you didn't know, if you sign up for a year, you're locked in to get over 400 digital cut files for the one year rate, plus all the live streams, plus all the goodness. So this is one of the projects we're doing um, over on the membership. We're going to, in today's live stream, teach you guys how to get your own monogram, um, which is really easy and it's super fun to do. So we're going to teach you how to do that and we're going to talk about the new collection. And also we're answering any questions you guys still may have about our class on building a business through die cutting launching on March 1st. So if you guys are thinking about learning how to make money off of your Cricut Maker or any die cutting machine that you have, this is the class for you. We have a special offer up until March 1st where you're able to save like 30 bucks by opting in before as a little pre-sale thank you. And we've had so many of you guys sign up, so thank you guys. But as you guys join in, it is much better. I'm so happy. Hello, friends. I'm so happy to have you um, share with me where you're visiting from. I wanted to wait until some people joined us. Mary from Southern California. Hello from Puerto Rico. Hello. Yay, Judy. Oh my gosh, gloomy here in Arizona. It is gloomy here in Tennessee. We have not seen the sun much at all. But Rachel's behind the camera, still recovering from the flu. So thanks, Rachel, for being here today. Um, and let's get started crafting. As you guys have any questions, Mary says, signed up today, not sure I'm going to do a business, but interested. Yes, so even if you're interested in doing a business, this is gonna be a really awesome class. On the page with the first link in the description, it talks about each lesson and what we're really outlining. Each lesson we're projecting to be anywhere from 30 minutes to almost an hour worth of material in the class. So it will be really awesome chunks in their videos so that you're able to stop rewind and you will have lifetime access. So we're also putting together some really awesome resources so that talk about your craft fairs, talk about you know social marketing, talking about other resources that we're able to give value to you guys, which is awesome. So hello from Cincinnati. Yay, well, uh, wedding stuff. So let's talk about Makers Gonna Learn. Now, since we are talking about building a business, with all of our digital cut files that uh, Makers Gonna Learn, they all come with a commercial license, which means you are able to create a project or create a file or anything that you may make and sell it. A lot of SVG files, you're not allowed to do that, but we really wanna encourage entrepreneurship. We wanna encourage people to stay creative and make money. So every single file you see over there, you're able to put on different projects and sell. So that's awesome. And that's just an added thank you to you guys. Um, so if you'd like to opt in, this collection will be coming out very, very soon. There's 30 files and it's all celebrating life. So it's all about life celebrations from birthdays to weddings to graduation. There's so many awesome ideas and we already have, I think this is our one, two, three, four, this is like our fifth collection. We have two holiday collections, a maker's collection, a Valentine's Day collection, and now we're on our fifth collection, which is life celebrations. So if you join today, you get all of those files, plus this one coming out. So over a hundred cut files ready for you to get access to. Um, I so want to build my own little business. Yes, and the cool thing is in this class, you're going to be able to do it. Um, we teach you how there's many different options to build your own business um, and how you can take it and do a lot or you can take it and do whatever fits your lifestyle. So it's going to be so much fun, but we've kind of updated everyone on everything, talked about a lot of goodness. But let's now talk about the files. So do making your own monogram, a lot of people think that they need to buy a font on Cricut, you know, all of this craziness, but it's so much simpler than that. So let's show them the screen. Let me go full screen over here. All you need to do, guys, is Google DIY monogram generator. There are websites that is going to generate your monogram for you. So you just want to select your monogram generator, which 
this is the one we're using today. This is the one I've always used. I have no idea what else they sell on this website, but it's really awesome because look at all of the different styles of monograms. So just let's show them all of the different ones here. They have all of the traditional ones. They're super awesome. And we really love this website. Like I love them to death. So we're going to select this one. Um, and then we're going to enter the initials, which we're entering Rachel's today. So R E L Rach, right? Mm-hmm. Does that look good? Looks great. Awesome. So today guys, we're working with iron on. I'm super excited. Um, and then after you do this, let's show them after you type it in, you, all you want to do is click share and save. And you can type in your email and it will email it to you, but you can also double click on the monogram and just click save image as, and we're going to type in Rachel monogram. We'll just type in mono. Super quick, easy. We've now downloaded it. And then what we're going to do is head on over to Cricut Design Space. So prior to the live stream, um, we're going to be able to already import the base and this is one of our cut files at makers gonna learn so each collection has 30 images and this is one of the 30 so we just want to go to upload and we're going to click upload image and we're just going to select this monogram and now we're in a, excuse me now we're uploading it we're going to select simple and continue and then you see this grayish background we just want to click on that and click on the middle of the r so now that's all cleaned up and let's click continue and we're just gonna save this as a cut file okay awesome stuff now we have this right here let's upload and insert so now we're going to size this to fit inside of our little ring how does that look look at how easy this is and we're going to change this to white because we're actually gonna cut this in white iron on. And then look at this awesome, awesome, I don't even know what, Rachel, what would you consider this iron on? I love I don't even know. It's yeah. like a, I mean, like a metallic-y, glittery. Yeah, we've got all kinds of different color, colors of glitter. We've got purples and reds and pinks. I just really love this iron on. So definitely guys, head on over to Cricut. There's a link below. And if you use the code craft in your day, you're going to get 10% off of your order and I believe free shipping. So that is awesome. So let's just go ahead and click make it. Mary said, does the generator create a JPEG file? Yes, it creates a PNG, which is a portable image, which is perfect for Cricut. You upload it in just like a JPEG and it is good to go. Um, you, could, you saw how I was able to save it to my computer, but you can also have it emailed. So it's kind of like two copies in case you want to maybe go to your iPad and check your email and then add it to your iOS app. So there's so many different ways to do it. It's super simple and you're going to really enjoy um, the monogram generator if you haven't ever created your own monogram. Because a lot of people really try to do a font. And as you guys can see, it was so much simpler to go on and just have them do it for you. I'm all about stress-free crafting. And I think that's one of my best hacks for monograms. And you guys, think about it. You're able to create, you saw how quickly I created this monogram. Think about if you were able to sell monograms, t-shirt, or tumbler, you're able to use a generator and be able to sell that. You want to make sure um, that you check in to make sure that you have rights to it and that you can do that. Um, but I honestly don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, if you have any questions, we're using a 12 by 24 mat because it was the first mat I grabbed. No, no reason why. We're using our fine point blade. And what we're going to do is just make sure we mirror this. So we're just going to select mirror and then we're going to select continue and we're going to connect to our device via Bluetooth. If you guys have never used Bluetooth, it's a blessing. I love it. Stress-free crafting at its best. And we're going to see if it connects. As I say, stress-free crafting, it may connect. So <laughs> it is taking a little second. Um, let's looks like it's not officially connected because I don't see the blue. So if this does happen, you want to go over here to your Bluetooth setting. It's right here. So Bluetooth. And if it says not connected, um, now it says connected. So we're good. You just want to give it a refresh. Um, so it's now connected via Bluetooth. 
Oh, Mary, the video's going bad again. Oh no, let's see how it's, how it's looking. Oh, it looks, it looks okay over on our end. So all you wanna do is select iron on, and then we're going to turn on fast mode. How awesome. And then we're going to just select cut. So it's going to check the blade and then be good to go. And here we go. Susan, I know, yeah, there are different apps that you could use um, to generate monograms, but this is completely free, and we really love, we, we love free here. So uh, let's unload this, and we have our monogram, so we're just going to peel this up off the mat, and then we're going to apply our glitter iron on right here, and just apply it down, just like so. And just like this, love it, love it. We're gonna be able to load it into our mat, load it into the machine, just like so. How awesome. Guys, are you working on any craft projects today? Leave us a comment, even if you're watching the recorded version, leave us a comment and let us know you're watching the recorded version. Um, so now we're going to go through to the second mat and we're going to turn the mirror on or just make sure mirror is on because again this is iron on so you um, apply it shiny side down so it's actually flipped so if you've never worked with it it's one of my favorites and then we're just going to press cut so it's going to take the blade and start cutting so here we go so, yeah, if you guys want to use the website that we use, I'm going to send you a link to the monogram one, so I'm going to link it right now. So it's in the comments if anyone wants to check it out. Um, you can also find apps, as I think some other, um, someone else commented. So all we're doing is cutting the ring, and then we're going to weed this all out. As this is being cut, we're going to go ahead and just cut this out real quick. Um, just because we want to save our iron on because I don't know about you guys. I'm always running low on white iron on and I can't figure out why. I just love it so much. Okay, so sometimes, oh, you know what guys? I was so excited. I forgot to select glitter iron on. So if this ever happens to you, all you want to do is go back and from iron on, you want to click on this and we want to view all and search for glitter. And then you're gonna find glitter iron on, and you're gonna select that. And now <laughs> we're gonna be able to load this in and cut this again, because we do not wanna to try to weed something that is for glitter iron on, um, and we only had the regular iron on set. So what I'm gonna do just for a safety precaution is move this image over so that we don't worry about anything like that. Okay, and then we're gonna have fast mode on, and now we're gonna simply press the flashing cricket, and this is just gonna cut again. So if you ever are using glitter iron on and you forget to turn that on, you can go back, turn it on, have it cut again, because as you see here, it did not cut much. Oh no, we had a piece come out of our machine. I have no idea where this came from. Okay, so this is resetting. Oh, something broke. Yeah, something broke off of it, but no big deal. We are gonna reconnect and cut this again really quick. And we had our piece, I think it got hung on our- Oh, there's something right here. Yeah, oh no, it got hung. I think we'll be able to maybe snap it back into place. I don't know if it comes off. I've never had this happen. So we're gonna refresh this and see if we can connect our device again. And we're gonna move this. So sorry guys, I don't know what's happening today. Beverly would like to know, is this file available now? The file is not available yet. It hopefully will be coming out this evening. So stay tuned to your email in the Facebook group 
if you're already a member of Makers Gotta Learn. So it'll be coming out very shortly. And I'm just going to reconnect this by pairing it. So while it pairs, I'm gonna load this back in. And you know what, I think this one isn't too sticky for iron-on, so I'm gonna move it down here to this side. Just like so, flipping this around and loading it in. Sometimes it just doesn't want to stick, which totally happens. And this shows, guys, everyone leaves comments that, oh my gosh, your projects turn out great. Not always, guys. You know, there are always are craft fails. There's always stuff that goes wrong. You are crafting with a machine, so there are going to be some difficulties sometimes. And you just want to make sure to not stress about it and just have fun. So we're going to connect again just like so. so now when the light comes back on it's blue and that means it's connected so we're going to select glitter iron on just like we did do you all have any questions about working with glitter iron on it is super simple i like to give it a little bit more pressure and sometimes you can turn fast mode off but i don't think it'll be i don't think it'll be an issue so i want to make sure where did we cut before i'm not sure so, okay, we're just gonna press go. And you wanna make sure that your iron-on isn't like going to peel up. So here we go. Let's do our cut. Yay. Just like so. So let's see what everyone's commenting. Awesome. So let's unload this map. And you can see right where you cut. This is when you want to grab your bright pad because sometimes it is so hard to see where you have cut, as you can see here. So what we're going to do, let's fill it around. And I'm just going to cut out an outline here just like so well I kind of see it yeah you kind of see it but it takes a little minute to <laughs> Rachel is stuck to the mat oh my gosh so at, when you can see an outline of it you just want to grab it just like so and start weeding it out it is so much easier with the bright pad which I wish I had got set up but I just wanted to go live and craft, so you don't always have to have all of the, the tools. It's totally okay. So as it rips off, you just grab it again. I really love this particular tool because it has that little hook, and it really helps weeding glitter iron on. So do we have any questions? Any other comments coming up? Um, do do do. You can make the cut lines with the pin so you can see them better. Great idea, Beverly. Never thought of that. So we're just going to go through and figure out where the circle is, just like so. Weed this out in the middle. Love it. And then we're going to go in and weed out the middle pieces. Just like so. Love Andy Pan. Love this. I am so excited that Valentine's Day was yesterday. I ate so much chocolate and I'm now getting ready for all of our spring projects. We are working on our spring collection. So if you are into spring, stay tuned because we are working on some really awesome files. Doo, doo, doo. You guys always get mad at me if I weed too fast. So I am going to make sure that we don't have any craft fails today, that I take my time. Get all the weeding done we need. And move one more spot on this one, and I think we'll be good to go. 
Awesome. Okay, so we have this file done. And then what we're going to do is sit this to the side. And then we're going to grab our wide iron on, which is right here. And if you're ever weeding white iron on, like I feel like white iron on is super simple to weed. It's so easy. It's so much easier to work with. You just grab it and go around it. So there's so many different ways to weed. Um, and the bright pad is usually what I use. If I'm not doing like a live stream, oh my gosh, it changes the game. Awesome. And then we just need to weed out two more spots. Just like this. And then we'll grab this little piece right here and we're good to go. Okay, so let's take a minute and get our two files and do, do, do set this over to the side. We're done with the computer. Now we're going to turn on the easy press. I'm gonna turn this on and since we're working with um, glitter, we're gonna probably turn this up to about 320. And since we're gonna do 320, we'll turn the timer down to about 25. Let me turn that up to 25. Okay, so this is gonna preheat and when it's ready, it's gonna give us a little ding to let us know that it is preheated. And then we're working with one of our favorite shirts today. So these are really awesome. They're super soft. They're from this brand right here, Next Level. This is where we love to get our shirts from. So they're from um, Amazon and they're so awesome. We love using them. And we're using a towel that is folded four times. This is a terry cloth towel. You fold it four times and it's good to go every single time. So we're gonna do this as like a pocket tee inspired t-shirt. So over to the side for Rachel. Um, so we're going to apply first the monogram. Um, actually, we're going to apply first this right here. And we're gonna do it in two, two hits on the easy press. So Rachel, how does this look? I think it looks good. You think it looks good? You like it? Mm -hmm. Should we hold it up and make sure we like sure, replace sure. it? Sure, sure. And I love this, guys, because you can now spend the time while this preheats and get all of your design yeah. ready. So I think it's cute. Awesome. Think it needs to go up high, any higher? You think it's good down there? Um, I don't I know where a pocket your, goes. Where's your pocket at? All right, you I think that's know. where your pocket is? Yeah, I think, I think cool. it's pretty good. Yeah. Cool. This is like a pocket tea inspired. We're preheated to 220. Uh, 225 so we're gonna let that preheat just for another second um but what we're gonna do here is the tip when you're using um, iron on and doing a multi-layer project is that we're going to heat this down and pull up this transfer then we're going to apply this down but then we want to make sure we keep this to protect our ring instead of just having this transfer sheet so if that doesn't make sense, stay with me for a few seconds and we will share with you exactly how this works. So Susan says, how do you use the heat press on the little plate? Um, I didn't, so this is just regular glitter vinyl. So you can get glitter in vinyl. Did you guys hear it? It is good to go, it's preheated, um, but you can get this in vinyl or iron on. So it comes in a lot of different things. You could use foil. Um, but yeah, this is just regular vinyl, um, just glitter vinyl. You use transfer tape, um, and it's super simple. So now let's grab our easy press. Someone asked a question, where did I get my beanie? I will tell you where I got my beanie. It was only $11 um, off of Amazon. So it was like $30 in the store. Amazon hooked me up for less. So super easy. Now what I'm doing guys is I'm applying even pressure. And what I'm doing is just applying even pressure right here. It's timing down. Awesome. And then what we're going to do is let this cool for a second. I forget if we were to let this um, hit for 30 seconds or 25. So sometimes it doesn't matter. But as you can see here, it needs a little bit more attention. So what we're going to do is just hit it again. And we'll do another 25. I should have looked at the reference guide. So if you all know for sure. Susie, you love the ring plate? We love the ring plate. Yeah, check this out. This is one of our new files with Makers Gonna Learn. So if anyone hasn't joined and they've thought about joining, this is a perfect time to join because these files are coming out very shortly in the Lop Celebrations collection. So we just hit that again and we're gonna let this cool just like so if you wanna pick it up. A lot of people likes to flip the shirt over and hit it again. 
I've found that to work, um, but you know, it's not always necessary. We'll probably do that after we remove this. So just like so. Check this out, guys. I love it. Is this glitter not everything? Oh my gosh. How awesome. <gasps> Rachel, it looks so much better than I even expected. I love it on this like this black t-shirt. Oh my gosh. Guys, are you all not loving this? Check it out. I just love what Iron On can do. It's so amazing. So now we're gonna take our small, you see our small little monogram that we cut? Um, if you guys are just tuning in, we taught everyone how to make their free monograms. So how does that look, Rachel? Great. So now here's the thing, guys. If we were going to take it and try to take the easy press and apply it right now, this iron-on would be hitting exactly to the easy press. Like we don't want that to hit it. So what we're gonna do is after we apply our monogram, we're going to grab our transfer tape, for, um, our transfer sheet for the glitter and apply that over it again. So even though we peeled it up, we're gonna bring it back and hit it so that it protects the entire project because we wanna give it that great quality. Oh, I'm gonna pull this over original, yeah. So I just wanna be able to give it even pressure. You can use both hands since it's maybe a double layer, um, whatever you find more comfortable, you can do either. So we're down to eight seconds. And usually for regular iron-on, we never really have many much trouble. Um, sometimes with glitter, you need to go through it a second time or just double check everything. If you let this cool for a second, you can sort of breathe it out, just give it a moment, and then sort of peel this up, ta-da, and then you can go through and double check that our, look at how great this is. It comes up like butter. Love it! Oh my gosh, guys, we made this awesome t-shirt. This is awesome as an engagement gift, a wedding gift. I think it'd be super cool to make with your bridesmaids. I don't know, Rachel, when, when would you make this shirt for your people? Yeah, you can make it for your bridesmaids as the gift to them if you want to, if they're Ooh. getting engaged, or maybe just the monogram yeah. for them. And Rachel's going to be wearing this awesome shirt, which yeah. is super soft, and you can find it over on Amazon, they're like six dollars. And Kim wants to know, are you supposed to wash the t-shirt first? So you can buy t-shirts like this one um, that is already pre-washed um, and that will make sure that it gets out any of the sizing issues. If your shirt does not say that it's pre-washed and whatnot, you are going to need to wash it and make sure not to use any, is it wash it? Not, um, what's the, uh, the fabric softener? Yeah. Sometimes the fabric, fabric softener will mess with the sizing of the t-shirt or something so don't use that for these shirts um but there are places all over the web that will sell them to you pre-washed so that you're able to go straight into using the Cricut ironing on and if you're going to do this for any type of business with monograms and t-shirts I highly recommend finding a provider of t-shirts that you're able to um, buy from that is pre-washed because eliminating the time of worrying about that is going to be your best bet so super awesome. Yay, you love it. Yes. Um, I so need an easy press maybe for my birthday. The glitter vinyl is gorgeous. It really is. I love it. So seriously, guys, if you've not considered joining our new e-course on building a business through die cutting, we're super excited to launch it on March 1st and have a special offer for you guys. So if you're interested, check out the first link in the description box. And if you want to join the best die cutting club for die cutting enthusiasts, head on over to makersgonnalearn.com and learn about all of our cut files. Seriously, we have a hundred ready for you to download today. And we have this collection rolling out, which 